back Jason Hollis Farms this morning we were supposed to get rain today about dinner time and woke up to rain this morning it rained quite a bit last night I rode down here where they logging at and they ain't here it ain't just sloppy but it's they'd be making a mess I couldn't believe the rain came in here that early but it did so, looks like no logging today. So, I got a couple of things that I could go do over in Mississippi. I'm going to look at the radar here in just a minute and see how far away the rain is. And I may go ahead and hook the trailer up and load the ranger up and go over there and try to get that done anyway so keep whacking at it gotta do something <laughs> inside here when I look to y'all see that coon right there he has crawled over in it I thought I smelled something that rascal right there tell you head up I am not sure exactly how he got in here looks like he probably climbed up right here and crawled up under there I ain't sure that ain't what's been done chewed my cord, my strap into. Can't have nothing. But I really don't want to reach off down in there and pull him out. And he probably can't get out since he's so slick. So I'm not sure what we're going to do when we're going to get back. It's going to be interesting. It's just about out. It might be one more tub full, but... Whew, we're gonna have a coon something. I'll have to put Pete up because that coon will wear him out. 
Anyway, we're gonna put these four out and then we'll come back and see what we can do with this coon. All right, y'all, I'm not sure exactly how this is fixing to go down. The coon is still in here. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I'm thinking he's been getting in here, but the corn was so high, he could get back out. Now, I mean, it ain't probably 15, 20 pounds left. He has slid down in here. And I'm not sure how we're gonna get him out. I'm gonna have to put Pete up. Cause Pete will probably chase him if he tries to come out of there. And I don't want Pete to get into no coon right now. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll probably set this camera up on top of the ranger as we figure this out. <laughs> As y'all can see, he is still in there. I guess I'm gonna put something in there to, man, I hate to shoot him right there. I might shoot a hole in my feeder filler. Pete's mad I put him up. I'm fixing to get me a stick or something and see if I can't get him out. This might be a good coon trap. All right, y'all, I'm fixing to take this boar try to slide it down in there. And somehow, see if he'll climb up it and come out. I got my full team ready. Alright y'all, I finally got that rascal. He won't get in our feeder filler no more, nor will he get any more turkey eggs. I wasn't sure if I was going to get him or not. <laughs> he come out of there so fast and I got the, uh, my little 410 and this thing shoots tight up close. And um, I try not to shoot the barn. But anyway, he finally, he come around the corner of the barn out here and I got him before he crossed this water here. Man, never know. All right, y'all. The coon won't get in the corn feeder filler no more. That one won't anyway. Got her done. Empty. Now we got the 
it is pouring now and my windshield wiper blades are about to come apart. We are about a half a mile from O'Reilly's, so I'm gonna go get some. Probably ain't gonna put them on until we get to the farm. But it's coming down now. All right, y'all. Looks like the rain has set in. Made it back from Mississippi. Got the windshield wiper blades for the 16 Dodge, but I hadn't put them on yet. So I think what I'm gonna do, me and Pete are loaded up. I think we're gonna head over to the speed shop over to Brad's. See if we can't get something done today. All right, y'all, the power is off at the speed shop. I mean, it was getting down on my way over here. So we're gonna do what you can do when the power goes off. We're going to eat. All right, y'all. The power is still out at Speed Shop. I am in the process of straightening this nose. I have got a new one ordered. But we may just make this one work. The way our luck's been going lately, I really don't want to put a new one on it. Spray bomb part of the front bumper trying to get it back on and then we're probably going at least build some front fenders but I think we're gonna get a hair dryer out on this plastic nose and get it straightened back out and reuse it we're gonna cripple on through this thing till this race car starts making a little money we're not gonna spend much on it what y'all find all right, got the radiator back in, fan shroud, everything's straightening up pretty good. Just about got this nose straightened out where it's gonna work too. Uh-oh, fan car. All right, y'all, me and Pete made it back to the farm. It is wet. Had a pretty good day, got the rest of the corn put out. Got that coon out of there too and got him done. Got the bumper and the nose on the street stock. Uh, went ahead and put the radiator and all back in it, crunk it up, make sure everything was right there. Didn't film it, we got the uh, mod back over in the workstation. We're fixing to get back started on it and see if we can't get it put together. But anyway, if y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.